Good morning. I'm headed to Santa Monica. There is a Beacon Street Fair Inner Circle event. So it looks it looks kind of like frozen yogurt, but uh, made with fruit. It's really cold today. Best thing to do is have ice cream. And then I'm gonna grab lunch with some ladies at Plant Food and Wine in Venice, which is still to this day one of my favorite vegan restaurants in LA. Uh, the atmosphere, the food. I haven't had a bad meal there. It's really so great. I love that place. So I thought today would be a really great day to vlog and show you what I'm eating. Alrighty. Yeah, that's all I needed to say. See you there. And we are here. Let's go. thought frozen fruit was a truck which is why I think I mentioned earlier frozen fruit truck it's actually a little storefront on Montana Avenue in Santa Monica so if you're in the area you should definitely check it out and if you're visiting you should still definitely check it out it's super close actually to the Santa Monica Pier I actually like it a lot better than press juicery so that kind of gives you an idea of what it is it's kind of similar to press juicery but I like it better my favorite was a passion fruit pineapple I feel like that's my favorite fruit combination. I love pineapple and I love adding passion fruit on top. So naturally, this was amazing to me. Yeah, exactly. I'll be you know. So I'm here at Plant Food and Wine with Melissa and Devin. We're doing their takeover for Instagram and we're trying to decide what to eat. Everything here is so good, so we're having the hardest time. The hardest time. What do you want? No, I'm gonna have to let someone choose for me. I think so. I think we might just give the menu Devin's getting ready for her pictures. Oh yeah. So finally the time to grub has arrived. Oh, that looks incredible. Argan oil for my lips. Is it weird that I kind of like my part in the middle? Like, I feel like that's really 90s. I don't know. Sometimes it just looks better. Plant Food and Wine was delicious as usual. The food at Plant Food and Wine is always so great. Never disappoints. Aesthetically beautiful. Delicious. I'm still in Venice. Kind of last minute decided that I'm going to meet another friend uh, who's also vegan, her name is Ripsme, and we're gonna go over to... Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> we're gonna go to the butcher's daughter. I will have a latte there. I have a really great like Mexican latte there. It's a little bit like cinnamony and like cinnamon, cinnamon-y. So a little spicy, super delicious. That and their matcha is also very good. So I'm walking over to called Butcher's Daughter. I'm walking over to Butcher's Daughter now and I actually have a funny story about Butcher's Daughter. So one of the first times I came here I came with my friend Megan who lives in Pennsylvania and she was in town for a few days. It was actually wow it was actually almost a year ago now but she came from Pennsylvania for Natural Expo West in March last year and we decided that we were gonna go to Butcher's Daughter in Venice before me taking her to the airport. All of a sudden when we're there we see the guy that plays Christian Grey and he walks in he's with some other guy and I was under the impression 
that he kept looking over at me. I know he just he kind of kept looking and like looking in in my direction, and I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe there's someone behind me or blah 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 or whatever it is, and. He kept looking over and Meg was like, that's not him! Well, long story short, he was looking over and I was like, oh, well, he's cute! Especially after that movie, I mean, am I right? Wait, no, my dad's calling me. Hola! Okay, te lo mando, chao. Is this still going? All right. So, this entire time he had been waiting for a table. And finally he gets seated. He sits at a table behind us. So now he's in a different direction, but he still keeps looking over. And I'm like, all right, this guy's definitely looking. And I say, what if I give him my number? Meg's like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna walk away if you do that. Um, so this is like this big thing. And then she was like mentally preparing me. And I'm like, you can do it, you can do it, but I'm gonna leave. So I write my name down on a piece of paper and we both got up and I'm about to walk over to his table and put down my, a piece of paper with my number on it and she runs off. She did not want to be there. To make things worse, the table they were sitting at was very small. His arms were kind of stretched out. I had nowhere to put the piece of paper because there was like coffee on the table and phones. So I ended up just like awkwardly standing there for a good two seconds like, oh, uh, where do I put the my number? And then finally they kind of both look over at me, him and his friend, and I set down the piece of paper on his phone and I quickly leave and I had it to go a to-go bag in my hand. This place is is kind of small, so um, as I'm trying to get out from behind him, I hit him with my to-go bag right across the back, and and then I ran out. Yeah, cool story, bro. Did he call me? No. I found out later that he's married, and I think he has a child. It may have had something to do with it, but yeah, that was one of my ballsier moments in life. Oh, Jesus, everybody's calling me today. friend Rifsame. She used to live in the valley with me. She used to be a valley girl, but now not anymore. I'm a west side girl. Now she's a west side girl. She doesn't want to talk to the valley. I had to beg her to meet me today. <laughs> not true. and her boyfriend and we had a super great time. I'm gonna go home, I have to work tomorrow morning. Actually, so tomorrow is the pig save and tomorrow's gonna be a really boring day. I'm just gonna be at work and usually Mondays are a little bit busy so I will not be vlogging. I heard something, what is that? Uh oh. So I won't be vlogging my day but I will be vlogging um, the event at the pick safe because I really want that on camera. I really want to share my experience and what I See and you know just share my piece of that event, which is um is gonna be difficult because of what it is and Where the pigs are going and feel like it'll be something that I want to share. I'm gonna drive now Does anyone care about what you can see? Um, I'm at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna stop and get some things for the week. Come with me because you have no choice. Oh, yeah. I was gonna show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's. 